your blindfolded makeup artist friend here, Cat Sketch. Today we're gonna do a makeup of Bird Box. If you haven't heard of this very popular Netflix movie with Sandra Bullock, it is a very intense movie that is nationwide and very well known. It deals with children and suicide, people trying to reach safety. They have to go through some heavy situations with small children going in River Rapids. It's a long story. If you're old enough to watch this movie, I would suggest watching it. A lot of people either love it or hate it. But I absolutely love this movie. I've been a longtime fan of Sandra Bullock ever since I saw her in Speed. So I'm gonna do some River Rapids on my chest with a body painting and try to turn into Sandra Bullock or mimic her face as best as I can. And of course, this video was highly, highly requested by you guys, so I had to do it, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna get my hair out of the way, just in like a ponytail, so that it won't slide into the body painting I'm gonna do on my chest. To start off this body painting, I'm getting a light blue aqua paint. This is the Wolf Brothers Hydro Color in this light blue sky color, and I'm just doing an outline of a river. The rapids that I'm painting on my chest was from the original book that this movie came from, and it definitely plays a big part in the movie. So once you have the rough of it on and dried, we're gonna put some dark blue paint around it. Again, really look at reference pictures to do some shadows around the river and some white cream paint on top, just to do like the high points of the rapids and on the sides to do the high points of some rocks of highlight marks. Then I got some teal aqua paint to block out some images that are gonna be lighter of the trees and bushes that we're gonna paint later. Then we're gonna get some white aqua paint with a very large foundation brush and start painting that on our neck, starting below our chin all the way down to the image of that river or stream or the Grand Rapids from the movie. Then we're gonna let that dry and powder it down with translucent setting powder. Getting some light blue aqua paint and doing some cloud moments in the sky, parts of this river rapids, imagery and scene we're doing on our chest and as you can see I'm also doing the tip tops of the blue out image of these trees. There's definitely some forest trees on this image. Then we're gonna dip back into the dark royal blue aqua paint and do the darker marks of those trees and bushes. And once you think you have enough shadows of the trees and the bases of them, we're gonna get some light blue aqua paint to do it under that just to fill in certain areas so that we don't see the skin whatsoever. You really wanna look at reference pictures of this and switching back and forth between the dark blue and light blue aqua paints. Again, you really wanna fill out where you're gonna put in the shrubs and bushes and trees. Now we're gonna get some black aqua paint to do even more darker shadows that are mysterious. What if there's a person coming from the trees and the sides of the rivers and rapids? trying to attack them. We're doing those dark shadows and of the bases of the trees. You can blend it out with your fingers and we're doing the bottom part of the rapids as well with some black aqua paint. Getting that royal blue aqua paint again to blend it in right next to that black on top of it. We're layering on some shadows of bushes and rocks or whatever you wanna do here and of soil that's gonna be blue though. Everything's gonna have like a blue effect on it to make it look more cold, dark, and mysterious. Getting more black aqua paint to do the dark logs and whatever pebbles and maybe fallen trees that are right next to these rapids. Getting some white cream paint to do the highlight marks of more rapids and maybe stones or rocks right next to the water and more black aqua paint just to define certain areas of the trees. And then once all that's completely dry, we're gonna powder it down with translucent setting powder. Make sure it's dry and this is going to set it so that we could paint on top of it even more. Now you can get some black eyeliner or what I'm using is some black aqua paint with a very fine tip brush to start painting in birds. Of course, this movie is called Bird Box for a reason. Birds do appear in the movie, but you should watch the movie if you're of age, of course, and want to find out what these birds have a significance of. This movie's been so popular all across the media and news for a reason. Everyone could take something different from the movie when they watch it and how they depict the birds and why people are perishing in the movie. 
I'm waiting for those birds to dry and then I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. Getting some glue stick and powder, we're doing the effect that I do in most of my videos to flatten down our eyebrows, make it look like we don't have any because Sandra Bullock has very thin eyebrows that are a lot lower on her face than mine so I'm gonna delete mine and draw totally new ones doing about four layers of glue and powder. When each layer is completely dry, I'm gonna grab some orange concealer corrector to cancel out the dark brow hairs that I have because we're gonna get concealer later. But for now, I'm gonna get some spirit gum, put that on my nose, and get some nose and scar wax. We're building a whole new nose, people, to look a little bit more like Sandra Bullock's nose. Her nose is a lot more thinner than mine is and a lot more pointed. So I'm doing two high points on my nose and blending that in with nose and scar wax. You really wanna make sure you have some lotion on your hands when you do this when you're handling nose and scar wax and do layers very thinly of the nose and scar wax. Keep adding it and blend it into the skin. Once that is blended, you're gonna get some flexible sealer and put that all over the nose and scar wax piece. I do about two layers. Wait for it to completely dry. It's very strong. Don't get it in your nose or eyes. And get a full coverage concealer to put on your eyebrows and that nose. Once you have it all over your eyebrows and nose, we're gonna blend it in with a brush, not a beauty blender, but a brush because it'll get in those cracks and crevices so well and it'll blend out nicely into the skin. You can even move that concealer down to certain parts of your face. And I'm getting an even lighter concealer on top of that to do even more layers on top of my eyebrows to really make sure those eyebrows, my original ones are covered. And I'm doing highlight marks on my chin as well in certain parts of my face, blending that in and powdering it down my eyebrows to set it. Just the eyebrows. Once you're powdered on your eyebrows, you're gonna get some foundation. I got it from my set kit in my face color to give a more natural makeup look on my skin with a beauty blender and blending that all over the skin next to those nose and brows. Everywhere else we didn't put makeup. And then we're getting some cream contour by Graftobian and contouring our nose. And we're not gonna stop there. We're also gonna contour in laugh lines and smile lines like Sandra Bullock has. You wanna look at reference pictures of her for this. And also because she's a lot older than I am, making sure to powder that down with translucent setting powder and get my favorite product for turning into people, which is the Lunatic Cosmetics Lab contour book, the original one and using the cheek color to blend that into my cheeks and then getting some of the lighter contour shades. I mix them to get my perfect color with a very small blending brush to even go into my cheekbones to give a more concentrated, saturated contour and then blend it out. And we're blending that into our chin, our jawline more sculpted, and our temples. And you cannot forget those laugh lines. You might wanna get a big powder brush to blend that in as well and buff in those contours to make it look more natural. Then from that contour powder book, I'm getting the highlight matte shadows and putting that on my under eye. And on the tip top parts of my nose and chin especially, then I'm getting some cream blush and using that as lipstick. That's a very natural look on my lips to paint Sandra Bullock's lips a little thinner than mine are. Then I'm getting my favorite cream paints from Poise Cosmetics. The multitasking creams with the angled brush that's perfect to make brow hairs. Again, I'm doing my brows a lot lower and thinner than my natural brows are. And then once the outline of that is on, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Contour Brow Pins to do the little brow hairs on top of it. Now it's time to go into my favorite eyeshadow palette for celebrity smoky eye looks and neutral eye looks. This is the Sephora Overcast Filter Palette. I'm getting the taupe color from there, putting that all over my lid and bottom eyelash, and then getting the darker matte black eyeshadow just a little bit to do a light, natural little bit of liner. Curling my eyelashes and making sure they're nice and curled to put some layers of mascara on not only the top, but definitely the bottom eyelashes. You cannot forget those because Sandra Bullock does not have big luscious lashes, especially in this movie. Now I'm just bringing down my natural hair and making sure it's parted down the middle. And will it be Sandra Bullock from Bird Box if I didn't have a blindfold? I actually cut up a t-shirt just for this video to make a blindfold, because I didn't own one. Putting that on our forehead like she just looked outside. 
And with that, we're completely done with the Sandra Bullock makeup transformation from the new movie Bird Box on Netflix. This movie is so crazy. Like I said, people love it or hate it. Anyone could take away what they want from this movie and the plot could be seen from different ways. It's very complicated to explain, but it's very scary. But she's definitely blindfolded a lot during the movie and she has to live with a blindfold for most of her life. And there's definitely birds in it and rapids. So that's all I could tell you without spoiling it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Allison for suggesting on Twitter for me to make this video. Love you guys so much. Leave a comment down below on what you would like to see on this YouTube channel next. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel for more Effects Friday videos. I also do beauty makeup on Makeup Mondays. And now it's time for me to turn back into myself. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box as always. If you guys do this makeup or any makeup from my YouTube channel, please post it on Instagram and hashtag CatSketch so I can see it. I love you guys. Tell me what you thought about Bird Box, if you've seen it or not. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.